Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, hope you're all well. Today on the video we're going to be having a look again at the Obsidian Flames set list. Um, this is to do with the recent massive price drop in the price of the Obsidian Flames singles. Everything from the illustration rares, to the gold cards, to some of the more common cards. So that's what we're going to be doing today, looking at the prices that. As well, at the end we are going to be opening just four packs of Obsidian Flames, hope you can say that. The uh, the four pack work arcs will open it back at the end. So sit back, relax, and let's have a look at the massive decrease in price of Obsidian Flame singles. Okay, guys, here we go. Back once again, we are looking at PokeData.com. This is the best tool. I don't care what anyone says. This is the best tool for looking at Pokemon singles prices uh, and cards in general because it covers every single set ever made. So we're going to have a look first of all at the big hitters in the set. Now, this video is obviously coming out on Monday. Hope everyone had a good weekend by the way. Um, but as of this video, I recorded a similar video two weeks ago. And compared to the prices that was on two weeks ago, there has been a 10% drop across the board in all cards. Um, for example, here we'll go back onto US dollars because that's what I originally caught, recorded the first video in. Back on the old video, Charizard Special Illustration Rare was around $90. Um, as you can see, it's come down to 76 The Charizard Gold Card was over $30. Um, the Charizard Full Art EX was around $25, $27. And the Charizard EX was over $30. 20. Um, as you can see now, some of the other cards as you go down, you get into single figures. The Nine Tails, which is a really nice card. I don't have it yet. It's a beautiful card, but it's below ten dollars. Um, the Pidgey um, is below seven. Uh, the Scizor, which is a card I really want, that's below five dollars. You know, you're talking basic um, energy gold cards below five. The Artisan card is below three dollars. So the price of Obsidian Flames has crashed dramatically. Like I say, 10% is a big decrease. As you can see here, I've put it back onto British Pounds. Um, all sets do this, but Obsidian Flames has tanked really hard. It does look like, unfortunately, this is going to be the uh, Scarlet and Violet version of Darkness of Blaze, which is unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. As you can see here on lots of the graphs, even the price of a PSA 10 um, has dropped from round around you know uh, 1300 pounds down to around 700 there is a bit of fluctuation between a 9 and a 10 but as you can see latest eBay sales um, here one sold or oh, these are actually off from the 10th of September 70 pounds 85 pounds 80 pounds you know 88 um, let's have a look and see if we can find a uh, here we go there's one here for a PSA 10, which had 34 bids, sold for £416. So the only real value in these, I think going to be going forward, is if you find a good quality um, version of the card, send it off to PSA or your, you know, your preferred grading company, get it graded, put it in the cupboard because it's that's the only way it's going to get value. We're going to have a look at the gold card really quickly. As you can see on the graphs here, the graphs are all in a decline status. Uh, this is the raw value, I believe. Yeah, the raw value is the blue line. The uh, the PSA is the green line here. Um, sold for you know £36, £34, £28. This card will come down, and the settling price, I think, is going to be around £27, £25, £27, maybe £30 of the luggy. A PSA 10 sold recently for not quite £280. So the price of these cards are tanking hard. Now, bearing in mind as well that upcoming at the end of September, I believe, we have the English version of 151. So once that is out, everyone will go mad about that because it has such nostalgia to it. Um, it has um, literally the original 151 um, Pokemon from Gen 1. It's got those um, illustration rares that go together, i.e. Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, Blastoise, you know, Wartortle, um uh, etc. Um, it has it has all those that go together. More nostalgia, so I think this will tank hard. And at the beginning of November, I believe we have the next set, which is going to be Paradox Rift. Um, there is a few cards out about that, but we're not going to go through that because there's only about five or six cards that we can see. So we're going to go through a set list. 
I hope you find these set lists um, useful. Um, I'd love to hear some comments below about what you think um, this set's going to be doing, you know, down 10 years down the line. Do you think it'll see a resurgence? Do you think these cards will hold any value in, re in 10 years? Obviously, the Charizard EX Illustration Rare, real, it's, it's, it's the best card in the set. This will probably stick around to be, I don't know, maybe three or four hundred pound card in 10 years' time, depending on how many there is. Um, um, another card here, Art Design. I have literally been on eBay today, okay, and I have bought this for three pounds, including delivery. Hence why I've put the tick in here. <laughs> so that's that's on its way. Um, that's on, you know, three pounds for a gold card, especially from the most recent set is Madness. I, I actually like Obsidian Flames, don't get me wrong. I like it, but in terms of collectability, um, and prices, this has tanked really hard. To lose 10% in a fortnight, it will definitely lose more. Um, I'll be very surprised if the Illustration Rare card sits about £50, but that's the way that it goes in terms of some set. In some sets, this is obviously the... I don't want to see it, but the Scarlet and Violet version of you know Darkness of Blaze, which we've said before, but that's the way that some sets go. Um, but I hope you found that useful. Um, me personally, what I'd probably say to everyone is, is don't buy any more packs. Don't buy any um, booster boxes because the price is not going to be there. Don't buy any tins. I know in the next couple of weeks there is a Charizard AX um, collector's box, I believe. And all it has in is this card, which is the full art. It looks pretty much exactly the same, but the Charizard is facing the other way. That is it. For £40, or £45, I think that is, you're going to get this card, some sleeves, two packs of, of Scarlet and Violet Base, two packs of Paldea Revolt, and two packs of Obsidian Flames, and, some, and a few other bits. But for £40, it's just not there. You know what I mean? It's a promo for a Charizard that's looking in the other direction. Is it really worth it? Probably not. You can go out and buy this card for less than that. You know, you can buy it for in a PSA nine for fifty pounds. So I would stop buying an Obsidian's, excuse me, Obsidian's Flames products. Go out and buy the singles. If you really want to get the best price of singles, I'd probably wait until one fifty one. The moment that English one fifty one comes out, go and buy Obsidian Flames singles. That's what I'll be doing. Um, I'm going to go through the last few packs of cards that I've got from Obsidian Flames. Obviously, I'll be opening more on the channel because that's what we do here on the channel. But from you guys, collectors-wise, hold off. Wait until 151 comes out. Buy the singles. That's my advice. But I'll get some again, and we're going to open some packs because I've got them lying about. Because we love to open packs on the channel. And we're going to see if we can get any of the cards that we need to complete our master set. So back in a sec. Okay, here we go, guys. We've got one of each pack art. Um, so we're going to go through this. And see if we can get new cards that we need. So I hope you found that um, rundown of the latest prices useful. Moving forward to do a set list, what I think I'll be doing is I will do a set list video at the very beginning when a set comes out, and at the very end when a new set's going to come out, and we'll do a comparison between the new prices and the the prices of the art before a new set comes out. Because I found this really interesting. I've enjoyed doing these um, set you know, analytics and stuff like that. Um, so I hope you have as well. But like I said, I wouldn't be buying any more Obsidian Flames products if you can help it. By all means, go and invest your money in other Pokemon cards, maybe Vintage, maybe other sets, maybe Sword and Shield sets. But from Obsidian Flames, when you can buy the cards that you're looking for, cheaper than the price of a pack, what does that tell you? So we'll go through this. Grass Energy. What what do we want to do? We, what cards do we have? I'll tell you what, I really want... That Scizor illustration rare. I've been after that card for a while. Really nice. Um, it would look great in the set. Um, we're, I'm at about 150 cards altogether out of the 230 that's in the set. So getting well on the way to getting awards and master sets. So we've got Spoink. We've got the Nine Tails reverse. That's a good start. I'd love the Nine Tails in the illustration rare. Come on. Then we have Thunderous. Oh, is that two cards? What's happened there? Ah, oh, cause Spoink. Sorry. <laughs> Spoink's the first one, Nine Tails the second, then the thunder then the thunderous hollow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but also it's Monday today. 
which means league night for me. So all the guys who go down to Gamers at Heart, Hearty Pool, look forward to seeing you all. Uh, Dylan, me and you have got a match coming up, um, I believe, and I can't wait. Monday's Monday's one of the fav- the best days of the week. Got something to look forward. We're going to go with Water Energy. Nope, darkness. So hopefully when I go down tonight, I can improve from my last performance, which was a fortnight ago, where I didn't win one one game. I won, well, I kind of won one game because I got a buy, so I got an automatic win, but then got hammered in the other two games. So hopefully my luck changes. <laughs> but we're going to flotzo. Okay, first reverse, which I've actually seen correctly this time, is Lillipub. Next we have, come on, give us something good. We've got Swablu in a reverse, and Togekiss in the hollow slot. Next pack, there we go. Also going to be doing more videos coming up, guys. Hopefully my latest PSA return um, is back soon from Steve the Collector, so I'll have that to open, which is a um, 10 cards that I've sent to PSA of various different types, but um, that'll be good to get on the channel. We're going to go with... Fire. Fire type energy. Oh, fine. Come on, give us a card we don't need. It's Monday. We deserve a good card. We've had a long weekend. Some people might have been at work. Some people might need to pick me up. Well, what can we have? We've got Pupitar. Okay, we've got Larvitar in... Is that the reverse slot? I can't quite see. Possibly Togekiss and Scizor Hollow. Scizor Hollow was good. I needed another one for me deck. Which is fine. Nothing much out of these packs today. These were just loose packs. These didn't come from anything in particular. These are just packs that I've picked up out of a, um, an open booster box. There's the last core card if you need it, guys. We're going to go Water Energy. No. Nope. Psychic. But if you have made it to the end of the video, thank you very much. I am so close to 600 subs. Please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave some comments down below if you found this useful. Tell everyone about the channel. Go on, find your mum's phone, your dad's phone, your brothers, your sisters, your aunties, your uncles, and hit that subscribe button. I would love to get this channel to 600 subs by the end of September. If not, we'll make it an end of year go. But here we go. Last few cards. We've got Slazzle. Is that the reverse? I hate looking at the darkness cards. You can never tell if they're the reverse or not. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. This is this is definitely reverse. So we've got... Bounceweed, come on. Claude Sire. And let's go Vullen. Non oh, actual hollow. But yeah, there we go, guys. Hope you found that useful. No big hits today out of the loose packs, but I've got some more in the background. So maybe one of those is hiding a gem that we need. And maybe one of these we can put in the binder. But I hope you found that useful. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, leave some comments down below. Have a fantastic day, and I will catch you all on the next one.